for Christmas, I got this really cool whiskey aging kit. And it's a little different than ones you may have seen before in that it combines a stainless steel container with an oak head. And I'm really excited to see with this if I can age my own whiskey at home. Hey, I'm Johnny. I'm a writer and uh, I guess a whiskey connoisseur of sorts um, in the Pacific Northwest. My first encounter with whiskey was uh, a trip to Ireland that I took in college um, that I actually didn't like it. And it wasn't until I was a little older in my mid twenties that I uh, kind of developed a taste for bourbon. Um, and then we went to Scotland um, a few years ago and I uh, got really into scotch. Um, and so I, I like both of those expressions of whiskey. Um, and what we're gonna be trying to do is create a sort of a bourbon uh, or a bourbon style whiskey. The first step when I got this was to fill, take this out, and fill the whole thing with room temperature water um, and then soak it. So let water get into, into the, the oak here um, and hopefully the idea is that it'll expand to fill the space and so that it won't, it won't leak. Um, so we did that and it, it, did, it actually didn't leak at all uh, from the beginning. I think that's probably because um, from where this came from, uh, where beer sauce is made in St. Louis, to where I live in the Northwest is a lot more humid. So I'm thinking that just the humidity in the air caused it to expand um, when it arrived. Um, but put in the water in there, let it sit for a while, let it expand so there's no leaks uh, and fills the space. And then now it just has to be constantly filled with some sort of liquid. And any liquid you add other than water will impart some flavor to the wood and then the wood will impart flavor back. Also around Christmas time, at a gift exchange, I got this bottle of port. Uh, this is Offley Boa Vista 1995 Port from Portugal. Um, it's a, a fortified wine. It's uh, very sweet, lots of notes of um, apricot, um, chocolate, um, very viscous mouthfeel to it. Um, I, I don't really like super sweet wines. I don't super enjoy ports. I've had a couple that I like. This one wasn't super doing it for me, but so I had an idea that maybe if I put the port into the barrel, it might one, come out tasting a little more balanced um, from the oaking, and then it would also leave some of the port flavor in the barrel, uh, you know, in, in the oak itself, and that we can impart that sort of the, the sweetness of this on something else, on a whiskey, ideally. Um, so here's what I'm gonna try, if I can get my hands on it. I'm gonna try to get some raw whiskey. Uh, sometimes it's known as White Dog. Uh, it's uh, a relative of Moonshine. It's basically whiskey that has never been aged. So it, whiskey normally goes into uh, oak barrels um, to age and it, gets, it exchanges some flavor with the wood, comes out that sort of oaky um, flavor. It picks up the vanilla flavors and, and caramel and sweetness and, and that sort of the, those wood notes, uh, earthy notes in, um, in the whiskey. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get some unoaked, some unaged whiskey, whiskey that's never seen a barrel before. It'll be completely clear and I'll show you this when I get it. It'll be completely clear. It'll probably taste like rocket fuel and be awful. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that if I get something that's uh, that has some spice to it, that has um, something that's more like a rye whiskey, um, which I really enjoy ryes, um, and then I take the rye and I, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the port out of here and if it's any good, I'll drink it. If it's not, we'll dump it, that's okay. We'll put the rye in the barrel where port has been. And if we're lucky, the flavors from the port that was in the barrel for, I don't know, a week or two, we'll see, will lend a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a rounder, more balanced character to this unaged, unoaked, uh, spicy rye whiskey that we're gonna put in here. And uh, hopefully it'll come out as being a, just a really tasty bourbon style whiskey. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna take. It could take months, it could take years, but I'm gonna try to document the process as I go. Um, of finding the right whiskey to put in here, um, the process of aging it and tasting it as we go, which is gonna be the fun part, uh, to see how, if it's any good. And yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. This could be uh, really, really fun. Looking forward to it. Thanks for coming along on the journey. And uh, sláinte.